down after the Brian Merrimack weekend that Tuesday. I want to be the coach of the team that comes back from that, that raises themselves up, picks themselves up off the canvas, and says, we're still making the playoffs. Entered in the last weekend, tied for eight. Tied for eight. We made the playoffs. Then, at PA, in a very mature professional performance. And a stop by Jamali Waits. Point in their focus, you know that I had to make at least one save. I got make three, which is good. It's unbelievable, like, being in the number one seed in the playoff, like, on their home field, it's, it's never easy. Then, guess what? And you see change. Sinking ball. Herbert with the head on it. Trouble. And trouble scores! What can you say coming back from a 1-0 deficit? Yeah, it's tremendous. Tremendous heart, tremendous guts. And you said the word that I use a lot, tremendous resiliency by these guys. They have a lot to be proud of, and I'm really proud of them. New Hampshire. Taking on New Hampshire in the first round is Fairleigh Dickinson for a league record ninth time in program history. FDU is the 2019 Northeast Conference champ. The winner of those two teams will be taking on 10 seed Virginia Tech in the second round. We like a challenge and we appreciate a good challenge because it only if you're a good team it only brings out the best to you and it only uh, makes you better in the short run and long run. So we're excited. We're excited to compete against a team uh, of this caliber. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2019 NCAA Division I Men's Soccer Championship Tournament at Wildcat Stadium in Durham, New Hampshire. Tonight's first round matchup features the Fairleigh Dickinson Hawks versus the University of New Hampshire Wildcats. It is time for round one of the 2019 Men's College Cup coming to you live from Durham, New Hampshire. An exciting one tonight as the UNH Wildcats get set to take on the Fairleigh Dickinson Knights in what's sure to be some hot soccer action here at Wildcat Stadium. For Fairleigh Dickinson, they took down the top two seeds in the Northeast Conference, so although that record's not great, this is a scrappy Knights team that the Wildcats have to be ready for. Two on one opportunity for the Knights. Here comes a chance. Boy, in net, uh, he's very active, he's very energetic. Seems to me as though Fairleigh Dickinson, to take a page from their mascot, set this up like a medieval siege where they have the fortress they need to defend and you have the stronger power who is now attacking your fortress with salvo after salvo, but those strong, thick walls and any sort of ancillary archery is keeping <laughs> the attack from breaking through to your center courtyard. played an outstanding a Wildcat team and we came up here and I thought we gave our heart and soul to this game and competed really hard.
hard. And I, I'd be lying to you if I didn't say it was a lot of fun, because it was. It was a lot of fun to come up, play this game, play hard, play it in a way that uh, they can be proud of and made FDU proud to have them representing us. One, two, three, United! United.